Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Old Bay. Thank you for stopping by the collection room today. Um, recently, I got like a little pile of Gen 13 comics, and uh, one of them I found in there was this. Uh, this is Gen 13. This is their uh, first anniversary, and it's a little trade is actually what it is. It's a collected edition. Um, it's A, B, and C. And what it is, it's their first year that they came out, uh, their, their, their anniversary issue. And, uh, well, like it says here, the Gen 13 anniversary issue. So big, it took three issues to tell it, featuring 13 fantastic guest stars. And it, it does. It has some amazing guest stars from, uh, well, everybody right there. Uh, pretty cool when it comes down to it that you had so many crossovers all go to an image comic. There's a lot of indies in here, but uh, there's some mainstream tough stuff too. And uh, we start out uh, kind of your typical just a night out with the kids. And what happens is uh, uh, <laughs> Grunge here uh, basically sells his soul for a comic book. Everybody's being kind of a jerk to him, uh, but he goes out and he sells his soul for a comic book. And as soon as he does this and see the guy just like ask for his immortal soul and he's like, immediately, let's do it. Which I thought was pretty cute. And as soon as he goes to tell him, he's out of it. And he's in this magical land where his girlfriend Roxy is a fairy who is, you know, complaining at him the entire time. It's a very cute little story I thought was quite good. And boom, he winds up in the Archie universe. Um, which I, I couldn't believe they could get some of these characters to cross over, but uh, it is the official Archie universe here. So you've got uh, you got the whole group there. Reggie, Jughead, Archie, <laughs> Betty, Veronica. You got Pops, Diner. Uh, you even have uh, Grunge making some like terrible comments. Adam, but it also gives you an idea that like this is what they look like. This is how he's seeing them. He's seeing them in a different animation style, but it is weird. It is very very odd. But I thought it was very cute and not something you would normally see. So there's one. There's crossover number one. Uh, next up, he runs into the Ninja Turtles. And I thought this was kind of an, a weird commentary on it. It's uh, uh, the Ninja Turtles, but they're trying to uh, escape under their pile of merchandise products. They've been trapped. Um... Oh, yeah, I, I love this. Things were chugging along real nice there uh, for a while, you know. Then suddenly we got 86 by Frenzy Beast and his Power Ranger peons. Uh, but at least we got to do three movies. Now they just want to go back to the comics and be heroes like in the old days. I thought that was that was just kind of cool. Well, we follow the uh, yellow brick road and move along there. Where we jump into the Bone universe. This was from Jeff Smith's comic Bone. Uh, I love this. I have the entire uh, the entire run in one huge omnibus package. It's it's a fantastic read. Um, they also had a pretty good action figure line to it as well, which is more than we could say for Gen 13. But uh, you get uh, you get a couple of a couple of good pages here with Jeff Smith's creations. Um, this is Bean World. Uh, I, this is the this is probably the only crossover I am not familiar with. Like I have no idea what Bean World is. Um, never heard of it. Which for me to have had a comic that I have never heard of, that's pretty rare. Um, we move along, uh, Bone leaves him behind, he goes to Image Town. I don't know if these are considered or counted in the crossovers, but you have, uh, you have Savage Dragon, which is a reasonable character, but a douche of a comic book. Um, you've got Wonder Woman and Hulk, uh, sitting outside, just got thrown out because they're not welcome in Image Town, apparently. Um, we get a whole bunch of some of the image teams, or at least caricatures of the image teams. I'm not familiar enough with all of the image teams teams to recognize everybody, and I think these are like child versions of a lot of them. Uh, pretty sure that's Lynch. 
some McFarland stuff. Um, and we get a creepy Igor type character, and it's it's Jim Lee, which I thought was if, I'm pretty sure that's Jim Lee. Gosh, it's been years since I've seen him, but I'm pretty sure that's him. We get a massive crossover. We get Spawn up here, looking all spawny in his in his chair, and it looks like for the most part, a lot of these art uh, guests were done by the original character, by the original artist, but not all of them. We jump from Spawn to Madman, uh, Michael Allred's creation. Uh, brilliant, brilliant character. Uh, Snap City. If you're not familiar with Michael Allred, I, I would encourage you to check him out. He's pretty cool. And we go over here and we get to uh, the Max crossover. And the thing I thought was a little bit weird with this is they have Rainmaker as the Jungle Queen when it should be Julie. But you do still have the Max, uh, which I thought was okay. So it's, 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 you're in a fever dream, so it, it makes sense that you've got um, basically one of his teammates and friends at, in the dream as somebody else. Even though, you know, this would normally be uh, Julie the, as the Jungle Queen and you got Max, but it is what it is. I, I thought it was interesting that they swapped out that character with somebody else for some reason. Uh, you didn't see that with Betty and Veronica. Oh, uh, I don't know if these count. Uh, let's see here. Maybe they do. No, I don't see them. I don't see Lady Death counted, but uh, this is clearly a Lady Death ripoff. Um, there's clearly Witchblade. Sent the bad girls. And, you know, it's... Well, it's Lady Death. I, it's not, I don't, there's no way to slice it. That's just who it is. Um, I can't, I think this is glory, but I am not positive. I am not sure on that one or, or it's supposed to be glory. Another image character. Um, we have this get interrupted by she, uh, from, I can't remember who wrote she, uh, that one's a little bit of a blank to me. I do remember it was a popular comic. I've had a bunch of them. I just can't remember the writer. Most of the time with these, I do seem to be able to remember the creators, um, and of course you've got, uh, Kachu and, uh, oh, what is her name? Strangers in Paradise Girls. I can't remember their names. I can only remember Kachu. Um, looks like Rainmaker's still there. You've still got Roxy in there. And then we get like two at once. We get Hellboy and we get Monkey Man and O'Brien, um, I love, I have an O'Brien figure. I actually have a couple. Uh, I love that figure. Fantastic figure. Uh, never could get the Monkey Man build a figure, but it is what it is. I mean, that's like an expensive, rare figure. Uh, never really cared for Hellboy. Didn't hate the first movie. Uh, just never was really that into it. Just not my, not my thing. And let's see. I don't recognize this guy. Like, I don't know if this is a character or a monster from another comic. Um, not, not real familiar with that one. Um, it's, uh, Caitlin Fairchild, uh, appearing as Gwendolyn, the good witch, to help him get out of this weird dream situation that he's in. Um, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, is it Anthony? Oh, it's Tony. It's the, what's his name? He's the motivational speaker guy. So he appears in there. Okay, that's another crossover. I guess you'd count that one. And then of course, how did it happen? But he's there, it's Wolverine. It's Wolverine, the actual Wolverine in an image comic, which is, you know, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that that, that could happen. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And then everybody kind of, kind of, he wakes back up from his weird fever dream, Wizard of Oz nightmare thing. Um, he's back safely with his friends and with Roxy. Yeah, just a, just a weird little book, the end. I think, okay, here we go. Acknowledgement, Wildstorm Productions wishes to thank the following people for their immeasurable help and generosity in making this book a reality. Uh, Arthur Adams, Michael Allred, Nancy Dakenzian, Kevin Eastman, 
Bob Harris, Sam Keith, Peter Laird, Larry Martyr, Todd McFarlane, uh, Mike Magnola, Terry Moore. That's who did, uh, that's the Strangers in Paradise is Terry Moore. Uh, Gary Richardson, Anthony Robbins, and uh, Tony Robbins. Yeah, Anthony Robbins. Okay. That's the motivational speaker guy. Michael Silber uh Jeff Smith, and Bill Tucci. I can't remember what Bill Tucci does. But we got, you know, Todd McFortnite, he did Spawn, uh, Peter Laird, and, and uh, oh, where's the other one? Kevin Eastman, they did they did Ninja Turtles. Sam Keith did the Max. Michael Allred. Yeah, you get it all. Um, anyway, so there's some of the covers that would have been available at this time. I do have this single issue. I don't have all these issues. Uh, I was kind of surprised when I looked through it to find uh, this this trade of, of collected three issues. Uh, I do remember this cover. I thought it was a hilarious cover. Very cute for the time because grunge is kind of a putz and, um, yeah. Random thoughts, Anthony Robbins. Um, I just thought this was kind of funny that they just threw all these like little, little statements in. Um, there's, they're a fun read because it's just comments from the characters. Hmm. Bob Harris is probably the one who signed off on the Wolverine image being used. And it was only, I mean, it's only like one page. It's only one, one image, but it is what you get. And of course there's Roxy on the back. And this was just a great little, like I, like I said, I just got a little stack of, of Gen 13 and some image stuff. And this was in it. And I'm not a big fan of trades, but I was very pleased to have this collection because this was, I don't know, it's one of those things in comic book history that I don't think happens very often. And I also, as cheesy and lowbrow as Gen 13 can be, uh, there's a lot of things that happen in Gen 13 uh, with crossovers and respect to other characters that I don't see a lot of other comic books do. Um, I'm notably thinking of the Gen 13 Superman crossover, which is one of my favorite uh, comic stories ever, if I still have it somewhere. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciated this book. I appreciate you guys sticking around to watch it. Uh, that's my story, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.